Hello and welcome to another Bug Bunny Collection a sizing and review video with me, your girl T. And today we're gonna do a super fast and furious review, preview, I don't even know what to call this video anymore. Um, but that was Milo adjusting my lighting. Hold on, speaking of lighting, let me just apologize now for this light, okay? Usually, when I film my reviews, I film them during the day, I open up all my blinds, I let the natural light in, but you guys know I'm teaching now, and it's winter on top of that, well, winter-ish, fall, winter, and so now the only time I have to do content, it's after work, and it's dark F outside, so we have to resort to lights, so, hence the light. So, Ignore all the shadows, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do the best I can. Okay, anyway. But funny, Black Friday starts Friday, November. What's today? Oh my god. I swear, I'm all over the place. Today is the 21st and starts tomorrow. So Friday, November 22nd at 1 p.m. Central. Normal Buff Bunny lunch time at 1 p.m. Um, there is going to be a sale up to 80% off site wide not on all of the previous items that we've seen this year last year basically anything that's still left in stock is going to be discounted um depending on which collection i'm gonna put that up right here depending on which collection uh the percent off is going to vary um and then you can stack code teresa on top of that for an extra 10 percent off of your total purchase now, along with these sales, we do get a whole bunch of new items. Um, mostly it's fun, like accessories, not a lot of like clothes. I feel like it's more accessories. So I'm gonna go over them with you. Like I said, this is a Fast and Furious re review. I got my package last night, launches tomorrow. I literally like don't have time. <laughs> so I'm trying to squeeze everything in. So this video is not gonna be very organized. I'm gonna try to keep it organized. But you guys know I usually like to do my tops, my bottoms, my accessories, my lifestyle stuff. Yeah, no, I'm just whatever I can grab that. That's what we're going to review. So let's start with what I'm wearing. I'm currently wearing the Moves Pullover. And I am going to scoop back so you can see it. Da, da, da. Sorry, I'm sitting on a table. So this is the Moves Pullover. I am wearing a size large. Uh, I don't want to say it's over. I mean, maybe it is oversized. It's baggy because you see how like... It's got that long, that wide sleeve, right? And it is cropped, but it's like a meet and greet crop. It does touch like meet my sweat, so meet and greet. But if I raise my hands, it definitely comes up. So just FYI, um, I have had other crops like this and you definitely still wanna wear a bra underneath because if you go like this, the girls are gonna come out. I've, I've had that happen, okay? So definitely you still have to wear a bra with it. But when your arms are down, it's meet and greet, wide sleeves, really comfy. Remember, I'm a T-Rex, so they definitely cover my whole arm. And then just to kind of like show you, like, that's how much extra fabric we got. So I wouldn't necessarily size up on this one. I think I would get my normal size, even around like the neck. Like you can see, it's really, really big on me. Um, I guess if you wanted something a little bit more fitted and more cropped, you would size down. I am going to stick to my normal size. I think it's great. The um, moves, this part here is embroidered, but it's not like a, you know, sometimes how when things are embroidered on the inside, they can feel itchy and scratchy. This is not that. Like, it's very, like, you can, I hope you can see it. It's not itchy. It's not irritating at least not in my opinion um it's actually like very very smooth but it is embroidered so just know that it is does feel different where the letters are but super cute super cozy just a casual little pullover to throw on um, with your sweats as you're running errands on the way to the gym on the way out the gym it's really cute next up i have the threads cargo jogger so it is threads material i'm wearing a size large i'm actually going to take my sweater off i think it's going to make it easier for you guys to see but i am wearing a size large they are they're not oversized but they are just like relaxed um if you want a more fitted look obviously size down if you want a more baggy like off the hip look then i would say size up they do come in three 
in seams 29, 31, and 33. I am wearing the regular length, which is 31 inches. They are a little long for me. I'm wearing chunky shoes, and even with my chunky shoes, they are a little bit long in the back. Now, I am on that cusp at 5'2". I always feel like I'm in that cusp between having to get short and regular, and I personally just would rather them be too long than be too short. I don't know, that's just my personal preference, um, but just so you know, I am 5'2". The regulars are long on me, especially like even with the chunky sneaker, they're still long. So if you're not a chunky sneaker girl and you're about my height, maybe you should get the shorter length. Um, but they are super cute, they are super comfy. They are threads, so they're more thinner. They're not cloud, we are used to seeing cloud. Um, cloud, cloud feels thicker and warmer, right? Threads is not as warm or as thick, but they look super cute. I think maybe I just should have sized down maybe to the medium. Um, I don't know, because I feel like they're pretty, pretty, pretty relaxed on me. I don't know, maybe I don't want, I don't need to size down to medium. I didn't want them to be really tight, you know? Not that they would be tight, they would just be more fitted. I didn't want the fitted look. I wanted the baggy look. I wish they were a little bit more baggy around the waist, personal preference. But I do like my normal size. I think they're super cute. I like that they have pockets. And then they have the cargo pocket, which is a functional pocket as well. Super cute. Love. I'll post a picture here of me full body so you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say that the regular length is long on me. Next up, I have the T. So this is the softer T material, like the one from Boyfriend. This is very like slouchy and soft and thin. It's not the scratchy cotton that we're used to. Um, a lot of the like t-shirts, like the white t-shirts are all that rougher cotton. This is not that rough cotton. This is more softer, more flowy, you would say. Um, and then as far as the logo itself, it says Buff Bunny, but it like fades out, kind of like an ombre. So it starts off, this is white, yeah, white, white, and then it fades to black. Now this is embroidered as well. It's not like a decal, it's embroidered. So it does feel a little bit rougher, but just like I said with the other one, it's not like a rough embroidery. It's not like itchy or anything. I think it's super, super cute. I am wearing a size large, which is my normal um, t-shirt size. Okay. Now if you wanted it to be oversized, obviously you would size up. In my normal size, this is what it fits. Okay. This is how it fits. Normal size, normal size, like that. I don't know. I always just kind of like to pull them to the front. That's my personal preference. Um, but yeah, normal size. If you want it big and baggy, size up once, twice, whatever you want. The sleeves are long sleeves, but they're not as long as like the pullover. As you can see, you can actually see my hand in these, but they are very stretchy. Very, very stretchy. It's kind of hard to see. Stretchy. This is stretchy, you know, like it's really comfy. I really like these tees. I feel like these tees are the comfiest on top of like the boyfriend one. The boyfriend one and these have been the comfiest of all the tees. What else? Where else have we seen other tees? Yeah, no, I think these have been the comfiest ones. Uh, yeah, I stand by the statement. These are the comfiest ones. Really, really cozy. Okay, now I'm wearing the Colorado Zip, and this atrocious lighting is definitely washing out the color. So just know <laughs> that this is very ice. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I can only do so much about the lighting when I have to film at night, okay? But anyway, this is the very ice. I am wearing a size large. I think, it's, I think the sizing is perfect, in my opinion. I got a large with boyfriend the mocha berry one i got a large then i got a large now i'm 100 percent happy with my normal size the main difference i feel like the body of the jacket itself is the same when i lay them down flat the body of the jacket is the same the only difference is the arm they have now opened up the arm so that it is not so tight um you can see sorry this lighting again i still have plenty of stretch as you can see and then we have the little silhouette lines we do still have the little cuffs which are great with winter coming up now these are going to be great for my walks with milo because we do go for walks super cute so you do 
you'll have that. Notice how the inside is fleece. Remember we talked about this is this is a fleece line jacket. I hope it's not getting washed off on camera, but the inside is more fleecy, whereas the outside is more slick. I hope you can see it, the texture, but super cute. And then we do have pockets right here. They are zippered, zippered. And then we have, of course, a normal zip, as you can see. Super cute. I am a big fan of the Colorado zip. Super cute. I think it looks really great if you wear it unzipped, if you wear it zipped, the half zip situation. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with sweats. I would wear it more with like leggings or shorts, but you know, for the sake of this review, we're working with what we got, okay? But super cute. I still think you should go with your normal size, unless you found the jacket tight, like the jacket itself, you found it tight before, then still size up. But if the jacket was fine and your only complaint was the arms, just get your normal size again because they fixed the arms. All right, let's get into these accessories. The first thing I'm gonna mention is the new scrunchies. We have now smaller scrunchies. I did not get the scrunchies. I asked for the scrunchies and I didn't receive the scrunchies. So I'm really, really sad. Um, but I have touched them, felt them, played with them before um, and they're significantly smaller than the original like the scrunchies that we've seen in the past so if you think that the other ones were a little bit too big for your head which I totally understand then I think you're gonna like these because they are much smaller now they are still textured okay it's it, they're still wrapped but they're not as big as the other ones so I I love both scrunchies but these are a nice change because we've had the other kinds of scrunchies for quite a while, so it's nice to switch it up. We also get more hair claws, but now they come in a three pack. Before they came just solo as one. Now we come in a three pack. The size of the, of the hair claw is still the same, still the same size, but yeah, now they just come in a three pack. Um, there's a black, a bone, and then this like multicolor neutral. It's got like two colors in one. So if you're a fan of the hair claws, now you can get all three in one pack, which I think is nice. I think if we're gonna get hair claws, they should come in a pack like this, you know? Kind of how they restructured the way the socks come. The socks also now come in three packs. Well, they've come in three packs for a few, for, for a while now, right? Um, but now we have, um, in this particular pack for Black Friday, they, the logo, the embroidered logos are different. I'm wearing the black ones right now. And then we have these, which they're probably gonna get washed out in this lighting. But this is cold brew. And then this is chai. So like the logos are a different color, which I think is super cute. It kind of switches it up. And it makes it easier to pair your socks together. I guess maybe not easier because if you're black, you just grab, grab, blah, 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 grab any black left and any black right, and they go together. But these you kind of have to like keep together. Does that make sense? So I guess maybe that's not easier. Either way, it's a nice switch up from just like the plain black BB logo. Okay, this next one I actually leaked in my last review. What was my last review? Deadlift. My deadlift review. Mikey's collab. I leaked this in the entire video. I was wearing it and I think maybe one person commented. I think only one person commented. But it is a buff bunny necklace. Oh, I wish it would focus. Let me see. Focus, focus, focus. Hold on. I'm gonna make it focus. Wait, wait. This camera is just on, getting on my dang nerve. Let me put, I have to put a background on it so it'll focus. Okay, there you go. See, super cute buff bunny logo, the cursive logo. I know some of y'all have seen, focus the camera have seen the blocked letter necklace the blocked letter necklace was actually just a gift for exclusive athletes we got it um for galentine's earlier this year those were not produced by buff bunny collection those were produced by some other company like i forgot what the box said okay but it's there those are not coming i don't that's not like a variation that's going to come in the future this is the one that is going to be sold by i'm trying to put it back in the little baggy this is the one that's going to be sold by buff bunny the cursive one um it does come in both silver and gold um and i've actually been wearing my silver i actually got the silver one from heidi heidi gave it to me um so that i could kind of like wear test it to the gym to the sauna um everywhere everywhere and everywhere 
um, to see if it would like tarnish or like turn my screen my screen my skin green um, you know and it's actually held up really really well it has not tarnished at all it has not irritated my skin in any way um, I think that they're really really good quality in my opinion um, cuz yeah they have that my silver one has lasted me months 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 <laughs> and um, yeah I've had it for a while because I leaked it I leaked it in the, in the deadlift video if you don't believe me go back and watch a deadlift video you'll see me wearing it the whole video <laughs> and then um, I've leaked it in a couple of reels too and I think eventually people did catch it but it took a while for y'all to catch it I think it's because this is nobody would have thought to look for a buff bunny necklace does that make sense it's just like it doesn't feel like a random item to me, but it's not like what you would think of when people ask like, oh, I want a buff bunny this. You know, we usually think like bags and clothes, not jewelry. So that was a little unexpected. So I, I think that's why y'all didn't notice it. Okay. But just know I did leak it quite a few times. Next up, I have the wallet. It's super cute. Super cute. Okay. And it's got this like little BB logo right here. It's a little snap. Okay, and then the inside is very, very, very basic. You just get that pocket right there and this pocket right here. And I think, like, for me, this is perfect. Like, if I just, I'm going on a quick errand and I just want to throw it in, like, my um, belt bag. Y'all, I'm sorry. I will learn how to speak eventually. Um, but anyway, it's super simple if I just want to throw it in one of, like, my belt bags, my little clutch, my purse, because all I would do is I would put my key in this compartment and it'd be like my driver's license and debit card here. You could even clip it to your car keys with this little thing right here, which is what I plan to do. Um, Cause I am not like an everyday purse girl. I am more of a like backpack, crossbody, belt bag type of girl. Um, so usually if I do wear a purse, it's because I'm going out, out, you know? Which comes in handy because hey, we got a purse. We get a purse. Oh, this lighting. I'm so sorry. Okay, it's a quilted little, like, is this called a hammock? Is this hammock or banana shape? Because it does a little, it's like a little half moon situation. But it is quilted. This is bone. I am going to hold chai next to it so you can see. Okay, let me see. Right there. Okay, so hopefully this lighting doesn't wash them out too much. But I got the bag in bone and I got my wallet in chamomile here's berry ice okay bone chamomile now i like the bag and bone i think it's super cute i don't have like a white purse like this so it's nice but y'all i love this chamomile color like oh, focus i love this chamomile i wish i had gotten my purse in chamomile like i said i like i like it in bone don't get me wrong because i don't have a purse this color but i think i'm gonna add the chamomile purse to my personal shopping list so it matches my wallet because I don't know I just really like this color it's so cute oh again bone chamomile very nice super cute all right let's talk about the purse the purse again it's like this like half moon banana hammock bag we do get the BB logo right here there is a cute little outside zipper right here as well hard to do everything with one hand it does it is pretty like roomy you can see the purse itself is also very roomy the wallet does fit in there with plenty of room for other stuff see plenty of room for other stuff um, but if you didn't want to use the wallet it does have a slot a card slot wall right here I hope it's focusing but you do have spots little slots there for all your cards so if you don't want to take a wallet you don't have to the opposite side has a zippered pocket it does come with the hand strap, which is how I will probably use it most of the time. It does have a hand strap, but it also does come with a shoulder strap. So if you want to wear it like crossbody or off, hang off your shoulder, you do get both options. I don't know. I just feel like little dainty bags, I like to hold them. I like to hold them. I just go like this. You know? I don't know. It's just me. All right. And last but not least, I have the ultimate pocket duffel, which is a beaut i have been waiting for this baby i found out about this baby probably almost a year ago i think i think 
it's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute, okay? And I was so excited for it to come out because I can't wait to use it. This is smaller than the Game Changer. I will put a picture right here of them side by side. This is smaller than the Game Changer. Um, but in my opinion, it's more functional for daily life. I like the Game Changer Duffel. Don't get me wrong. I love the Game Changer Duffel. I love it. But to me, that's more of a travel bag. I have used it as a gym bag, but I have to take off the shoe compartment at the bottom because otherwise I feel like it's way too big. But this one, this is the perfect gym size. It's so cute. And it's called Ultimate Pocket because it literally has a whole bunch of pockets, okay? So starting with the front, here's a pocket. And it's like a magnetic snap too, so that's nice. You hear it? So cute. Then on the side, we have these little scrunch pockets, okay? I love scrunch pockets. They make sure that everything stays nice in there. Then the back, we have the two pockets, which one of them is a trolley pass-through, so let me unzip it. So you can still use it to travel, okay? Because you can, give me a second. Uh, see? Still has the unzipper pocket so you can do the trolley pass through and then you can also use it to like put here like it opens this way you see so you can put a towel a mat um, a hip thrust pad any of those things through here and it'll hold it for you the zipper itself is nice and big. I do love that. It clasps into itself and then it opens up. I'm gonna unzip the bag. All right, starting with the top. Just like the top of the bag, we have more pockets, mesh pockets, mesh pockets, mesh pockets. We have a mesh pocket here that goes into the bag. Sorry, let me take the dust bag out because I do have the dust bag in there, okay? So you do have that. The inside, again, more pockets on the inside of the wall. We have more pockets right here, all the pockets as you can see, okay? And then, so let's talk about this side right here. So this, okay, is actually for your shoesies. You put your shoesies in here, okay? It's got its own liner so that your shoes, when they're inside your bag, they're not touching all of your other stuff, okay? They just stay here. And look, you even have this right here inside the shoe bag. So you can put socks or extra laces or, I don't know, whatever you want in there, and it all stays together with your shoes. And if you're not using the shoe compartment, you just roll this up. You just roll it up and then there's a little elastic. This lighting sucks. There's an elastic right there so it'll just keep the liner out of the way. So you have all of the room inside the back. Bada bing, bada boom. I also love the little things at the bottom. These little things, okay? So that when your bag is on the floor, it is protected. It's not just like the bag straight on the floor, you know. Um, did I miss any pockets? I mean, there's a there's a shh ton of pockets, which you know makes sense for it being called the ultimate pocket duffel. Let me count the pockets. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, plus the bag itself, 14. 14 pockets. 13 pockets, the bag, one bag, 13 pockets. Literally, ultimate pocket <laughs> duffel. Like, there's gonna be a pocket for everything. A pocket for your gum, a pocket for your tampons, pocket for your shoes, pocket for your lip gloss, pocket for your pre-workout. Literally a pocket for everything. Now, I am a basic bitch, so I got mine in classic black, but it will also come in bone and cold brew if you would rather get something else. I think bone is so freaking gorgeous. But you see what ha happened was when I go to the gym, I do this. And I know that the bone one it would just get so dirty so fast. That's why I got black. I could have gotten cold brew, but I got cold brew in the um, Game Changer Max and my duffel. My duffel is, I will have two duffels, but my duffel is, uh, I have the duffel in the Game Changer Max 
and cold brew. So I wanted to get this one in just plain black. Plus that way it matches all my gym fits, you know? No matter what gym fit I wear, no matter what color, black always complements it. And you won't see the dirt. It's a win-win. But, but bone, oh my God, bone is so pretty. If I wasn't a messy person, I would totally would have gotten bone. Obviously, there's other stuff that I didn't mention because I just didn't get it. For example, the twisted halter bra comes in bone. Ivy wrap bra comes in cold brew. Um, alpha bra comes in ground. Curve bra comes in bone. Curve already came out in bone, but I guess I just restocked it. Um, there's... Hi, Milo. Hi, Milo. Hold on, please. I know you want attention. Give me a minute. Um, what am I missing? Oh, the Game Changer Zip, the little makeup bag. The little, It's the little one, okay? That one is also, ooh, excuse me. That one's also coming back in black, bone, and cold brew. Yeah, that's it. That's all for the new stuff. And then, of course, the rest of the website is up to 80% off. If you use code Teresa, you can stack on an extra 10% savings at checkout. And you can also still enter my monthly giveaway for the month of November. That's where I give back to you guys. I give out $100 collection, but funny collection gift cards. Um, so all you have to do is shop, use code Teresa at checkout, take a screenshot of your order confirmation and upload it to the giveaway form. I picked three winners every month. I just love to give y'all money. Um, if you are not in my Discord, shoot me a DM on IG um, because I also do other fun giveaways on Discord that are exclusively for my Discord girls. Only Discord girls get those. And then of course, there I'm gonna be doing another giveaway over on Instagram. So plenty of opportunities. Let's see, 300, four, five, six, $600 in Buff Buddy and buddy money, buddy money. Buddy, I'm just, listen, we're just giving away money left and right, okay? So if you want in, you know what to do. Join my Discord, use my code, say what's up. Check out my giveaways on, on Instagram because there are plenty of opportunities for you guys to win. Um, but yeah, I know this review was kind of all over the place. I'm sorry. I just wanted to have something for you guys to refer to. Um, but I am still going to be answering questions on Instagram stories and on Discord. So if I just missed anything or if you need clarification on anything, please don't hesitate to reach out over on those platforms. I would be more than happy to help um, if I can. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. And I swear I'll be more prepared for the next one. Well. To be fair, this one was out of my control. I just got my package yesterday and launches tomorrow. I only have one day to get content, okay? So um, this one was a little bit out of my control, but usually you guys know I get more time to make content. So I promise the next one won't be as chaotic and as all over the place as this one was. And once again, I apologize for the lighting, um, but I, I know you guys, I know you guys understand. So I uh, thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.